uh, last time we came with the chapter trend analysis and today we'll wind it up with the chapter right last time we did uh, uh, balance sheet vertical balance uh, vertical balance sheet and vertical pnl account that is vertical revenue statement uh, we did individual now we'll just mix it up okay my format is ready as usual this is the question a very basic question at, at the very first the very, the very first is a very basic question and then we'll like proceed with the higher higher level questions uh, question number 18 we have done last so today question number 19 without wasting time we'll hit the question now calculate the percentage trend from the following information extracted from the financial statement of mrs pranita limited after arranging it in the vertical form okay we'll arrange it in the vertical form and then afterwards we'll find out the trend and a trend percentage balance sheet is given income statement is given means what we just need to copy and paste it and then afterwards calculate the percentages a very basic question have a look what are they saying fixed asset is given to you investment is given to you and current asset is given to you liabilities may share capital bank loan that is your borrowed funds and then current liabilities are there income statement man sales cost of sales gp less operating expense operating profit and the three years are given 12 13 and 14 so year is 12 13 14 12 13 and 14 year rupees and percentage right shall we start so the first one they have said is fixed asset uh, income statement Achha, I'll prepare the income statement first every time then I will be going with the balance sheet vertical balance sheet the very first one is the uh, balance sheet coming first so fixed asset amount is given to you 43200 so fixed asset in that column 43200 then 45 360 then 54000 then you have investments just below that Amount is given to be 3600, 1800, and 3000 again, 600. Next, current assets, it will go in the working capital, uh, 48600. So here you will write 48600. Then you have uh, 60408. Then you have 7380. 70,380. We'll draw a line below this. There's a reason behind this drawing the line because this shouldn't come into calculation for this because working capital is current asset minus current liability. So, drawing a line restricted, we are restricting this this amount to be getting added up to this. There's a logic behind that also. Now, take an example. I'll, I'll show it to you over here. 3 plus 5 is what? 8 right 8 you drawn a drew a line over here and again you want to add up 1 so it will be what 9 are we getting so we are not adding this again but if you write in this format 3 plus 5 8 plus 1 so you're going to add up everything how do you get it so there is a reason behind drawing a line also so you draw a line over here means what you're going to not you're not going to add 8 again are we getting it Logic behind that is the, the, the logic behind that is this one, a very minute one, but you know you should take care of that also. We are done with the assets part. Now coming to the liabilities. The very first one is share capital given to you. So share capital over here, we'll write equity share capital. Amount is given to be 50 to 200. Then you, then you have 61, 200. Then you have 73, 800. You have bank loan. You have amount ten thousand eight hundred. You have ten thousand eight hundred, and then you have fourteen thousand five eighty. Borrowed funds, bank loan, clear. Then current liabilities thirty two four hundred. Your current liability in the working thirty two thousand four hundred. 
subtract these two and you'll get the working capital. We'll put into brackets. Okay. We'll do a subtraction part later. We'll take the calcium and we'll do it together only. We'll not disturb now. Uh, net sales 40, 44, 48. Sales 40, 44, and 48,000. Cost of sales is 30, 36, 36. 30, 36, 36. You get the GP. GP will be subtract. The subtraction for this. 10,000. You have been given the operating expenses is 423600. 4, 2, and 3600. You get the net profit. You can call it net profit, net profit after tax, before tax, retained earnings. You can say that also. But you write net operating profit only as it has been given in the question. And they have said 6000. Are we getting it? The question arises. Okay, sir, in the previous questions, when we did the analysis and interpretation, we used to take the profit, net profit from here, and we used to add up to the capital. We used to add up to the capital. But in this question, in this question, you're not adding it up. You're not adding it up. Why is that so? Achha, tell me one thing. Have we given any bifurcation that this is the equity shares, this is the reserves and surplus and all? Have we given any information regarding it? No. So here the assumption would be what you know, this 50 to 200 is arrived after adding up this amount. Because we don't have any other non-operating in income and expense ka information, tax ka information. So we take an assumption that this amount, this amount share capital, this includes the reserve and surplus also. Are we getting it? The second assumption will be that okay, I am assuming it, I am assuming that this is not the total and the uh, you know, favorable, not the favorable I would say. This is a total ba uh, balance sheet, uh, vertical statement, revenue statement. I am assuming this is an extract. What am I assuming? I am assuming this is an extract of the vertical revenue statement. Because this amount has to be added. So there are two assumptions that you can take. The very first one is like you to assume that this is the only final profit and it has been arrived here by adding it up. And this amount is arrived by adding the profit, of, profit from the above. Then you, do, you need not write the equity share capital. But here I am taking an assumption that the balance sheet like totally tallied, so I will take the assumption this is the total balance sheet. I am having equity only as much. And you have been given the revenue statement, so this is an extract. Are we getting it? And in the absence of anything, question is saying this, don't take any assumption, don't write any assumption. Just do this question and end it up. Are we getting it? So we are not going to write any assumptions out here. But you're getting it in the examination if there is like twisting kind of a thing. So how are you going to handle that? So this is the way you're going to solve it. I've just pasted it. I copied from there. I pasted it. Now what are we going to do? We just take the calcines, do the calculations, take out the percentage and you're done. Clear? Chalo, take the calcines. This is the base as usual. 100%. 100%. Right? Right 100%. Take the calculation. We'll do the calculation part first. 48,600. Uh, Minus 32, 400 will give you 16,200. Then add up these three, plus 3,600, plus 43,200, 63,000. Capital employed. This also has to be 63,000. Yes, it is. This has to be 72,000. If I'm not wrong, yes it is. And this has to be 73,800 plus 14,580. 83, 88, 380. Now add up this. 7380 minus 39,600 will give you 30,780,000. Plus 54,000, 88, 380. And then take a total for this one, 6480. No, no, 6408 minus 35, 568 will give you 24, 840. 
प्लस वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड प्लस फोर्टी फाइव थ्री सिक्सटी सेवेंटी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड वी क्रॉस वेरीफाइड इट ऑल्सो अच्छा ना विल टेक अ डिफरेंट पेन थोड़ा कलरफुल पेन के लेके करता हंड्रेड परसेंट फॉर द बेस ईयर एंड द बेस ईयर हैज टू बी द फर्स्ट ईयर वी आर कंपेयरिंग विद द फर्स्ट ईयर बेस ईयर सो फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी थाउजेंड सो दिस हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंटेज एंड फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सो दिस विल बी वन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी एट डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी इट इज वन ट्वेंटी थर्टी सिक्स एंड थर्टी सो थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइड बाई थर्टी विल गिव यू वन ट्वेंटी एंड अगैन इट गिव यू वन ट्वेंटी आर वी गेटिंग इट एट डिवाइड बाई टेन वन ट्वेंटी दिस माइट क्रिएट अ प्रॉब्लम टू राइट हंड्रेड 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 एवरीवेयर ठीक है ना दिस वन टू फोर थाउजेंड एंड टू दिस फिफ्टी परसेंट This is three thousand six hundred. So ninety percent. It's all Kelsey game, boy. Boss, it's all Kelsey game. This is hundred percent. Eight thousand four hundred divided by six thousand will give you one forty percent. Now this one, sixty-one two hundred divided by fifty-two two hundred percentage, one one seven point two four. We'll write one one seven percentage. You know, try. Uh, we'll just try to take the rounded off figure. Seventy three eight hundred divided by fifty two two hundred. We'll get one forty one percent. Ten eight hundred. This is hundred percent. Fourteen five eighty divided by ten eight hundred. One thirty five. And so on. Can you fill this remaining part? Fill it up. Shall we calculate? Fill it up. क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी द नेक्स्ट वन अच्छा वी यू रिमेम्बर वन क्वेश्चन वी डेड वेर अमाउंट्स ऑल्सो वॉज गिवन इन द बैलेंस शीट एंड द एंड द पर्सन ऑल्सो वॉज गिवन सो इट इज द सेम क्वेश्चन वेर वर्टिकल स्टेट रेवेन्यू स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन टू यू अमाउंट इज गिवन फॉर वन यूर द ट्रेंड इज गिवन द पर्सन इज गिवन एंड थर्ड वन ऑल्सो थर्ड वन ऑल्सो अगैन द अमाउंट इज गिवन अ वेरी सेम एंड अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन अगैन आई पुट इन वेर यू टू जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई एंड गेट द आंसर्स वेट Uh, question number twenty, twentieth. From the uh, following information, prepare vertical revenue statement and the trend analysis of the Chiplun products of all the years. Okay, that's a company Chiplun products. करके. So at the very heading, you'll write the Chiplun products, right? Then the vertical revenue statement, and then as usual, our question goes. This is twentieth. चल. The revenue statement only is given to you. Sales, cost of sales, gross profit. Okay. मैनेजमेंट एक्सपेंस इज लाइक एडमिन एक्सपेंस ठीक है नेक्स्ट यू हैव सेलिंग एक्सपेंस इज अगर एन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंस देन फाइनेंशियल एक्सपेंस बैड डेट्स तो यू हैव ऑफिस सेलिंग एंड फाइनेंस ऑल द थ्री एक्सपेंस विल एड अप इन द ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंस सब्ट्रैक्ट विद द जी पी विल गेट द ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट यू नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स देन सब्ट्रैक्ट टैक्स यू विल गेट द प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स अच्छा दे हैव रिटन बैंक बैलेंस 
So printing mistake, there is a printing mistake, bank balance leak, no, that's not a printing mistake. This company actually deals with the, uh, deals in cash only, there is no credit sales and all. So, Jobi Paisa Bacha and Oscar profit. There are two kinds of business. One is doing whole and soul on cash only, no credit, not at all credit. Right? So, whatever the amount they are getting, neither is a profit. There is no debris, there is nothing. Are we getting it? So, this is a whole and soul profit of the firm. So, bank balance is a profit, net profit after tax. You can write in the question net profit after tax or you can write the ba uh, bank balance also. But we will prefer to write the net profit after tax and in the brackets we will write the bank balance. Uh, shall we start? Chalo, very basic question. My format, uh, half of it is ready. Chalo. The year also, year they look at the year 12, 13, 14. In the question also is 12, 13, 14. Wow. Chipped in products, you can write chipped in products. Question number 20, I have changed it. Achha. Now, you have given the 2012 years amount. Percentage for the 13 and again the amount for 14. I, yeah, again the amount for 14. So, as usual, we just put in the figures 1 lakh, 2 lakh, right? Next, cost of sales 60, 150, 120. You get the GP, 40, of course, 40, this will be 80, and here they have given again 150, okay. Then operating expenses, we have three, office and admin, selling and distribution, And then your sale expenses and then you have financial expense in that you have bad debts. Then you subtract that you get operating profit or I would say net profit before tax. There is no in interest so we will not write net profit before interest, interest then subtract interest there is no point in writing that because we do not have. We get net profit after before tax, subtract tax. You get net profit after tax or the balance. NPAT or the bank balance in this question because that the entity has been taking, has been dealing in the cash only. There is no printing mistake, there is no printing mistake. So, the format is ready to just put in the amounts, 10, management expense 10, year 20 and bad debts you have uh, 5000, total 35, subtract with the gross profit you get 5000, 1000 is your tax, the balance has to be 4000. How come they have written, there is a, there's a printing mistake out there, there is a printing mistake, 10, 20, 30, 35, 35, 36, so it has to be 4, there is a printing mistake in the question, that is 5000, the bank balance has it is 5000, right, so just uh, cross it out and write 4000, then 14, 10,000 for this, management expense, 30,000 for sales, And 5000 for selling expense, add it up, this is 45, minus 80, 35, tax they have 15,000, it will be 20, uh, yes it is 20, and there was a printing mistake only in this one. Huh? If you don't have any mistake out there, so just don't strike it off. It is 5, so TK. But if it's not 5, write it 4. Chalo. Then the trend one. We have uh, written till management expense 100. 
this is 100 percent, this is 125 percent, 100, this is 800, income tax is 800, okay, income tax over there is 800. Please open the eyes and write the amount, huh? don't make a mistake out there, please. Okay, so we will take the calcis now, right, we are putting the amounts, now it is like very monotonous, I will solve it out. Chalo. This has to be 100 percent throughout and so on, okay. Now 100, a uh, 1 lakh multiplied by 150 percent will give you what? 1 lakh 50 thousand. That formula 60 thousand into 150 percent, this will be 90 thousand. 40,000 as a add up, this will be 1, no, 240,000, you have to subtract it. If you subtract this, 150 minus 90 will give you 60. Let us check, let us check it out. Okay, 60 divided by, 60 divided by 40 percent will give you 150 percent, it does match, it does match. We need not match over here, it just I am telling you. 10,000, 100 percent is 10,000 only. 20,000, 125 percent, that will be 2,500. 20,000 to 125 percent, 25,000. Then 5 into 100 percent is 5,000 and it goes monotonous. Add up 5, 30, 40. 40,000 divided by 35, so it will be 114, okay. Then subtract it, 60 minus 40 will give you 20. Now 20 divided by Twenty divided by five thousand. It will be four hundred percent. Thousand, thousand multiplied by eight hundred. Eight hundred percent. So thousand multiplied by eight hundred percent will be eight thousand. Subtract. We'll get twelve thousand. Let's see. Let us see, we get the n pad as 4000 over here, 12000 divided by 4000 will give you 3. Make a change in the question, no? make a change in the question, it has to be 300. A slight printing mistake. Achha, I have I copied properly. Yes, it is. Make a changes in the question. No? It is how much? 300 percent. Make a changes there only. Has to be 300. All right. Chalo. Now, can you do the percentage for 14? It's very simple. One lakh. Uh, one lakh ka. It became two lakh. It will be 200 percent. Two lakh divided by one lakh percentage. 90 divided. Uh, 120 divided by 60, it will be again 200 percent, 80 again 200 percent and so on, right. You can do it together, I will do this question, no? 10, 10, it will be 100 percent, 30 and 20, 150 percent. Five and five, that is hundred percent. Forty-five divided by thirty-five. So forty-five divided by thirty-five percent will give you one twenty-eight. So rounded up one twenty-nine. Thirty-five divided by five, seven times seven hundred. Thirty-five divided by five, it will be seven hundred. Fifteen divided by one, 
it will be again 15, 150 percent. 1000 percent will be 100 years. 20 and 4, the 500 times. 20 divided by 4 percent is 500 times. There was only once a uh, printing mistake out here. There was a, it has to be 300 over here, which was printed 200, and uh, the balance over here that was printed 5000. It has to be 4000. Only these two printing mistakes were there. Just make the changes, copy the question, done. That's all. I hope now this chapter is very simple. Now it's like it, the whole questions, every question will go in monotonous. It's in a loop now. You are in a loop. Kya aise questions hi karna hai apne ko, right? We'll take a big question now. So now detailed question we'll take for vertical balance sheet also and the revenue statement also in detail. Okay? Copy it out. We'll come to the next question then. Uh, done with this question. The next one. 21st, now a different kind of question will come into the picture where uh, the balance sheet is given. No, the balance sheet, the information of the balance sheet and the revenue statement is given to you, and there are certain missing amounts. So, just need to calculate it, right? And then show the per trend percentage. So, the concept and everything remains the same, but there are certain missing figures that you need to ascertain. We'll take the question and we'll solve it, so we'll get an idea about it. Get to the question, the next one, 21st one. Uh, the question on the missing figures and uh, I have written that the heading is there, uh, work back and complete, you got that? 21st, uh, is it 21st or 22nd out there? Just uh, make a correction, na? Mabhi printing mistake ho gaya, aya ho ga. 21st or 22nd. If it is 22nd, make it 21st, if it is not, it's good. Chalo, shall we? Okay. The following is the financial information of ZN Limited for 3 years ended 31st of December every year. Okay. So, here the, uh, here the ending is year ending 31st December, we are not concerned with that, we just write the years and all. Uh, but in the examination, just make a note that whatever information they are giving in, uh, write in that way. If they are saying 31st December 13, so here you don't write only 13, right, 31st December 13, how much time it takes, how much time it takes, very little, right, write it, big deal, say we will take the question now, okay, uh, they are given share capital. We know what to do with that and look at the amounts now. We are given all the three amounts for 11, 12 and 13. Next given gross profit, again the three amounts is given to you. Achha, but the next one, current liabilities, na? only year 1 balance is given, year 2 and year 3 balance is not given. Means 11 ka balance they have given to you and 12 and 13 ka balance they haven't mentioned. Okay. Fixed assets, again all the three amounts are given to you. Long term loans, 1 lakh, question mark and 120. I hope you are on the same page, right? Huh. The question marks are how are we going to calculate the question marks and early case we will do the question. No? You don't have a question mark on your face right now. When we will do the question, the malum bad jayega. So, as of now, we will just read the question. Hai na? But yeah, half of the question has to be solved in the brain. Okay, uh, we will get the net worth and uh, we know what is the uh, capital employed. So, question mark hai pe, we can get the balancing figure. So, we can just analyze in your brain. Half of the question has to be solved in the brain only. Half of the question. Proceed. Then you have uh, fixed assets. Uh, we are done with that. Long term loan. Okay. Cost of goods sold is given to you. See, GP is given for all the three amounts. Cost of goods sold is given to you for uh, the. No